Why? Hello and welcome everybody. Also good morning. So today I have an interesting video to make considering it's actually not about Righteous Fire. Sort of. So um, yesterday we had patch 3.23.1 so I pretty much woke up to this patch and usually I pretty much just read from here to here uh, but I decided to peek a little bit more at the bug fixes since my buddy sent me a message uh, about this right here. Now normally I don't read too much about these bug fixes. Sometimes it's kind of funny. There's like some you know, weird things that get fixed, but uh, in this case here, it says fix the bug where the Bane of Chaos unique vol side area was able to provide the disabled Tower of Ordeals unique map. Instead, it now provides the adorned unique jewel. So the adorned unique jewel, um, I'm not gonna go into the specifics of it because we're talking about the, another way to get it now, but previously, if you guys are familiar with Ultimatum, you had to collect like the Ultimatum fragments and put them together to go fight the Trial Master. I believe that's what you need to get the Adorn Jewel in the current state of the game. Correct me if I'm incorrect, but now there is another way to acquire it. Now, this is something that I'm actually interested in because as a, you know, a primary SSF player, farming the Adorn was kind of despair. Like I did not want to have to do so many different league mechanics at a chance at getting a jewel that's corrupted with a random value, right? So not only for trade league or for SSF though, but also for trade league, I never really interact with Volside side areas because for me, there's not really a reason a lot of the time, right? This is something that's kind of unique. So let's, let's kind of do a little bit of a dive into this. So first off for my RF build for like the high end, well, the medium end Adorn, they're rocking around 30 to 35 divines. Uh, I actually have no effect on this price. They've been around this price the whole time. So th this is a pretty pretty chunky penny for most people, I would say. Not most people, but people who are progressing now and like still not are, you know, going crazy with the Wildwood juice. Um, this is still a very big chunk of change to put down for a jewel, right? So I'm curious how much the Adorn prices will fluctuate now that you are able to do the following. So if we if we go back and read this, it says... The Vol side area, right, was able to provide, etc. So Vol side areas, if you guys are aware, can be crafted if you take the point on the tree here, the keystone, Lucid Dreams. This makes it so when a Vol side area pops up in your map, you can actually use currency on it just like a map. What that means is you could also technically scour Alkit. Um, this is a this is a great not scour Alk, sorry, uh, scour chance it. This is a great league for this because currency is quite literally free. I'm sure we all have stacks of 3,000 scouring orbs in our stash. So I'm going to be testing on stream today how often you can kind of predict the outcome of acquiring this. So basically, when you get a vault side area, you have a list of unique vault side areas that can pop up, which is the Bane of Chaos, the Endless Nightmare, and the Grand Dreams. The Bane of Chaos, I believe, is the one now that can actually drop the Adorn Jewel. So I'm gonna be basically scour chancing until I can pull out a Bane of Chaos in my standard Wildwood maps. It doesn't seem like it's gonna be that big of a difference. Like I'm literally just gonna come over here and take like Lucid Dreams. And I don't know, I also think I'm gonna take Unimaginable Horrors because I do believe it is the Vol Vessel. I don't know if it says it on here. The Vol side, let's see, uh, fix the bug where the Bane of Chaos unique Vol side is able to provide this. Instead, now provides the Adorn Jewel. I, I don't know if it drops from... The, okay, yeah, the Vol Vessel contains the Adorn. And this here specifically states that your Vol side areas and maps a 20% chance to duplicate rewards from the Vol Vessel. So not only could you get one, you have a chance of getting two. So I'm very curious to see, you know, like if this actually ends up making any currency or if it's just way too rare it's not something i'd i've ever really jumped into there's also people have to enlighten me here because i don't ever do vol side areas there's like the alluring vol side area which i think gives you the mortal fragments instead of the regular ones to go fight uber at ziri i don't know if this has any effect on like the unique versions i have absolutely no idea so i'm just excited to kind of play like try something new even if it's only going to be for a few days um the other ones are kind of interesting so let's see we have bane of chaos here we have endless nightmare which you just create like a literal endless nightmare it has an 80 percent chance of generating a portal to another random endless nightmare i guess that's that's a good name for it the endless nightmare i don't know what the point of this is i guess just farming like stuff that come out of the uh the vessel um, and then Grand Dreams, uh, what does this do? Oh, has a random item level 86 Fractured Incursion modifier. I genuinely had no idea about this stuff. So, not that I, I don't know, Incursion modifiers that are fractured are very expensive. Maybe 
See, there's like the the body armor that gives like the percent life with the flat life. There's the mono one. There's like the mono on the amulet. There's the health on the ring. There's conversion. There's a couple of good ones. I don't know how good they're going to be, but not too bad. De definitely something unique because normally you can't really get a fractured incursion modifier. It's like, I mean, you can if you fractured yourself, but that's expensive, right? So I'm just pretty curious. We're going to be jumping into vol side area, um, vol side areas and seeing pretty much what happens. So. Anyway, that was pretty much about it for the discussion today. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. If you did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe, and let me know on your thoughts down below. Also, side note for people who are curious, uh, I am working on a RF Chieftain progression guide, kind of like the um, Juggernaut and Inquisitor. I need to remove this because it's just confusing people and just merge fourth foul with the League Start Jug. Uh, so you can go ahead and take a look at this right now. There's not a lot of leveling content in it. It's mainly for like mid and late game, but you just pretty much level the same way as a jug. Anyway, that's pretty much about it. Thanks again for watching, everybody. See you guys all tomorrow.